this is not our drought experiment, but what I wanted was to give you a feeling that you know how much yield reduction is there in drought when 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 you go to next, which is next our our is a drought experiment. This is our non-stress trial, and as I said earlier, what we want to do is to combine high yield potential with good yield under drought. So this is here be screen for high yield potential, and in fact the one that does well here as well as under drought are only selected. So this this is just to to show you that uh, we, we have a number of lines that that would yield around six ton or six point five ton uh, under non stress. But when they they go to stress, the reduction in yield is too much, and in fact it goes somewhere below three ton. So when when we take you there, you you must have this impression that you know how good wear lines under non stress, and then how they suffer when they go under stress. It is more true with. Uh, Swarna, Samba Masuri, BR11 or Sabitri or Tadokam 1 which are cultivated on large area in different countries in South Asia or Southeast Asia where drought is a recurring problem. So th that is what uh, we still need to integrate that most of the popular varieties which are grown on large scale in irrigated, where, where bred for the irrigated ecosystem but they have taken more area in rain fed ecosystem and are highly sensitive to drought. So with this, I, I won't take much time here, but that, just to give you a glimpse that how our breeding program is under non-stress situation, and then how it looks when we go to stress, drought stress situation. One question is, Please. when you put all these varieties, like you mentioned, Swarna, Savitri, they are very late ones. The stress you are uh, introducing yeah. at uh, days after planting or yeah. at uh, the reproductive stage for all the maturities? Uh, we, we divide them by maturity group. That is the first thing we do. If you see this whole breeding program, we have two maturity group here, where one is 105 to 115 days, and one is 120 to 140 days. So within that variation is there. Now we try to control that variation by bringing stress early enough. Now, for example, here we introduce stress 28 days after uh, transplanting. So eventually it is 49th day after seeding, and at that point of time, even the earliest line has not flowered. But then also, since Swarna is 140 days, and the earliest line that you have in that is 120, 21 days, you know, Swarna gets that disadvantage of being in stress for a bit more time, you know, as compared to this. But this is how much we can do. But there, there are other, other ways, like uh, uh, in one of the trials, we have done staggered planting based on the days to flowering. You know, we do staggered planting and initiate the stress at one point of time. So in that case, you have to have two or three staggered planting. So if you want to have that much accuracy, uh, you, you need to go for the staggered planting. So this environment is stress environment. No, this is non-stress. Non 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 this non is stress. control. Okay. okay. So uh, ju just to give you a feeling, you know, yeah. that so when, the when you go there, you know, then, then you, you you get that yield reduction comparison under. Uh, Okay. So we move to the next. Uh, I, I think so because 